The rugby public school near Yas can't match the size or stature of its illustrious English namesake, but it'll do for the local farmers whose children have gone there for more than a century. Trouble is, the school has only four students this year, putting its future in real doubt, and that could spell disaster for the tiny community it serves. Primary school students have been graduating from the rugby public school for 123 years. But for Dylan and Jacob Howard, it's not looking good. They're going to shut it down. The grade two twins make up half of rugby's total student population. The tiny town near Burrawa in southwest New South Wales has been told its school will close at the end of the year. And it will only reopen in 2012 if 10 students can be found. We'll miss everything. But from me and Dad will miss all our stuff we make. Our family's been involved with the school for probably two or three generations now, so very sad. The community is up to the challenge because if the school closes, it might just be the end of the village. Since the shop closed and the post office, it's been, uh, it's been difficult. And everyone will tell you just how good a school it is. It's warm and friendly. It's just the best place to go, really. You can't really not give the kids attention in this sort of situation. The student-staff ratio is an obvious advantage. And the school says isolation isn't a problem. We regularly have lessons online with surrounding schools. If the school's doors do shut forever, children in the town will spend an hour travelling to Burua each day. I'd go on the bus. But no one's giving up just yet. Rugby's in the fortunate situation that we have uh, affordable housing and um, you know uh, and cheap land here. There's always hope. I'm the eternal optimist, so you know I always think there's hope, and we just have to wait and see what happens. It's a numbers problem. These two hope will be solved soon. Vivienne Nunes, ABC News, Rugby.